The second game of the PLL San Jose weekend features a Whip Snakes team trying to lock in a playoff berth and a Chrome team trying to keep their championship dreams alive. The Premier Lacrosse League coming to you from Avaya Stadium. Three weeks from now, the top four teams will have a chance to play for the PLL crowd. The bottom two teams will be fighting for the top overall pick in next year's stacked collegiate draft. And this game could provide a little clarity in that picture. A Whips win assures them a top four finish. A Chrome loss would lock them in to the draft bracket. Goalie situation for Chrome is unique. Both John Galloway and Brett Queener have gotten chances recently. Last week, Starter said he was open to split in the game between the two, but Galloway was playing well, opted to stick with him the whole game. He was great, stopped 12 of 19, but allowed a couple of two-pointers that were ultimately the difference in a 9-7 loss to Archers. Don't overlook Kyle Burnlord. The young guys like Cannon and Trout have gotten a lot of love this year, but Burnlord leads the league in save percentage. They lost last week. He still had 18 saves. You could certainly make the case he's been the most consistent goalie in the PLL this season. And the faceoff X second week in a row, Connor Farrell, the exclusive faceoff man for Chrome. He won 9 of 13 last week, and he scored, but that puts him two goals behind Joe Nardello. Best faceoff man of the PLL, not named Trevor Baptiste. He had three points last week and won the majority of his faceoffs against Tommy Kelly of Chaos. Whips have dropped two of three since their 4-0 start. Not the time to be sliding with three games to go in the regular season. They try and lock up a spot in the championship bracket here this afternoon in San Jose, but it's Connor Farrell pulling away the opening faceoff, and we're underway here at Avaya Stadium. Brennan on the run with Warner right with him. And then out for an open John Rannigan. Rannigan to the right hand down the alley and scores. Opening goal goes to Chrome and John Rannigan, his ninth of the year. And their 9-7 loss to Archers. Ned Crotty takes it around the crease and slips it through Burnlor. Two goals in a minute. As I mentioned, aside from Trevor Baptiste, he's been outstanding. One of the best in the league. Here's Crotty with another look and another goal. Ned Crotty, twice in a half a minute. You pull enough. It's one of the big things I want to do today, come out, dodge, either start the offense, or if I beat a guy, get no slide, get the shot. So far, so good. Good luck keeping it going. Oh, Thank oh, you. Oh, 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 oh. And they do. <laughs> Brendan. It's going. Matt Danowski with a laser over the shoulder of Burn Lore. Then, then maybe we can go ahead and get a couple if we fight for them, guys. First face-off win for Nardella, and he scores. The perfect response for the Whips. And Whip Snakes will get their personnel set as the ball belongs to Mike Chanichuk. Gets it back. Chanichuk scores. 12th goal of the season for Mike Chanichuk. Player in the league to hit that mark this season. Now Rambo was the first and only player to hit 30 points on the year. Earhart from two picks the corner, and it's tied. Eighth two-pointer hit this season by the Whips. Four of them from Chanichuk, and that goes in! Potential challenge flag. I think Burnlor is imploring for it as we take one more look. You're going to see Gutterding step in. He looks to feed. And just kind of... If it touched Danowski's, yeah. it would be a one. That's clearly behind the two. Now here's the other element. Oh, I think it did. Great job by our cameraman. Referees have already come up with their conclusion. Yeah, this is a no-brainer. The ball did deflect off another attack and goes in. It's one goal. You see Chrome making the most of their opportunities. First save results in a rebound and a guttered and goal. Shot one that may have glanced off Burnmore. Not enough for a shot clock reset, though. Wolf, the dunk! Jordan McIntosh, the beneficiary of Jordan Wolf and his wheels. Crotty with a short stick matchup in Warner. Stops and starts again. And Goddarding! In the blink of an eye, in and out of his stick and into the back of the net. 
John Galloway, three saves. Should be three goals allowed on the other end. One worth two. Only one save and another goal. That's now nine for Chrome here on the opening quarter. A week after they scored seven in an entire game. With, with Bernhardt, you just gotta you gotta support. Joel White finds an open oh man. Oh it's boy. Justin Gutterding, oh and boy. that's ten. He was having success early in the season, which kind of begged the question. And we asked Dom of it, like, at what point do you just kind of let him go? Romar Dennis. And now it's Tuttle getting into the act. This might be the one that says, okay, let's get, let's get Morris going. Chased all the way out near midfield. Nice leap by Carlson to keep that ball in the whip's possession. Chanichuk, and that one goes through. Drew Snyder with his first goal since week one. And as that goal was scored, Jim Stagnita does go to the bench and bring in Dan Morris for his first PLL action. We've got a flag down. 13 on the shot clock for Wolf. Wolf got it away. It's signature Jordan Wolf. Just a little hesitation and then explosion. Whipsnakes keep possession, and there's a top corner. We all love to talk about the flashy highlight plays. These 50-50 ground balls, these scrappy effort plays gain extra possessions and create opportunities like this. So you, you know that Shannon Chuck's going to the sideline, and instead of everybody congratulating him, he's finding the guy that came up with that ground ball despite the best efforts of Joel White. And a quick restart with White still getting himself back onto his feet. Bernhardt plays it down low. Connor Kelly for Earhart. Earhart gets in and he scores. Jim Stagnita said before the game he was looking for a little more offense out of Michael Earhart. With Bryce Young. Skip pass. Telegraph picked off by Bernhardt. He's on the run. Bernhardt dishes Connor Kelly just under the bar and in. Final seconds here of the half. Crotty from two! Crotty stretches the lead back to five. You can already see the whip supporting. And that one sneaks through from Connor Kelly. Still no Rambo here, Ryan. What does that change for the whip snakes offense? Well, Joel Acasio will get on the field a little bit more, and he winds up scoring to lead the way for Chrome and lead the way offensively for either team. It's ran again. He scores. And he gets the first in the second half for Chrome as well. And I don't the last know. two goals that have been scored by Chrome. One with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Here, 6.04 in. And Connor Kelly continues his big day. That's the fifth point. They got numbers. Snyder back to Young. Young took an extra step to get it to Earhart. Because between Shannon Chuck and Earhart, the two-point threat is keeping them in this game. That is from a legit 18 yards. Just steps into it, and look at the passion, the energy. Three goals in less than three minutes near the end of the first quarter. And there's a big-time play. Crotty, and he got decked at the end. And now things are escalating. James Barkley threw the hit after the shot was released. And the officials trying to keep everybody calm. So Wolf. Scores for the second time. He's got three points. Earhart comes up with the ground ball off the faceoff. Nardella stays on the field, which means Connor Farrell stays on the field. Nardella slipped by him. And then gets away and scores. Joe Nardella, two today in that championship bracket. Sievers 
Out of the box, comes right through and scores. Coming on the right side of your screen, just shot out of a cannon. Freeze it right here. He's not even in your screen, folks. <laughs> but you're going to see a huge jet of steam by Sieverts and just all of this daylight. Something happened in the substitution box. There's just not a guy on this Whips defense that can cover him. Meanwhile, the speedy Wolf finds a wide open Donowski, and he scores. Young helps down, and there's just no second slide. There's just He's had a big day. Four goals, six points. Looking for more. Crotty from the left hand. Got it. Yeah, they, just, they don't know if they can cover this guy. You're going to see Crotty dodge up the right side, roll back, shoot with his left. Just a classic question mark move. You can see as he turns, he drops his stick, uses Muller as a screen, and now it's just a matter of running out the clock. Inside of 10 seconds, this one just launched down the field, picked off by Earhart. He's had a pair of two-pointers. That one won't be another. Kroll needed a win to stay alive in their chance for a championship, and they put up 20 on the whips. They don't just win games, they <laughs> win games. 19 against Atlas and now, tw or excuse me, against Chaos and now 20 against Whips. As soon as you think you've got this league figured out, Brendan, the one in five Chrome beat the Whip Snakes or died for first or first coming in. And now the Chrome at two and five boasts the best scoring differential in the league. Explain this to me, <laughs> please. They've got Redwoods next week in Hamilton and then Archers to finish off in Albany. Final score, 20 for Chrome, 16 for Whipsnakes. For Ryan Boyle, Paul Burmeister, and our entire NBC Sports crew, I'm Brendan Burke saying thank you for watching. Go to NBCSports.com for a full recap of this one and every PLL game. And join us tomorrow, Archers and Atlas, 7.30 on NBCSN.